Hello guys, this is my seventh tutorial of this series and today we're gonna learn how to create a fluffy white or beige carpet in the center of the room. This is the first tutorial where we create objects in the room. The room itself we finished uh, the previous tutorial. Let's get started. I'm going to go to the top viewport and unhide the plan I used to build the room in the first tutorial. If you don't remember uh, how I created the room, go to the part 1 of this tutorial series and you will find out. So, the first thing I want to do is create a plane. This plane will be essentially my carpet. So I'm going to create a plane, the size of the carpet. I'm going to give it a lot of segments and you will find out why uh, later on in this tutorial. The segments I'm going to give it uh, I want to make them as rectangular as possible so uh, the width and the height uh, are supposed to be as close as they can so I'll make it a little bit less like so this is fine I'm going to go to the camera viewport and now as you can see the carpet is in the same height as the, as the floor I'm going to hide the plan because I don't need it anymore and I'm going to choose the carpet and go to the front viewport and take it up just a little bit above the floor like so so this is the floor and this is the carpet fine next thing I'm going to do is give it a very fur modifier what this modifier does is add fur to an object so while my object is selected, let's call my object carpet. I'm going to click on V-Ray Fur. What this does, as you can see, is add fur to my plane. Now the fur is too high and uh, uh, there are not enough uh, hairs, but we'll fix that later. Uh, for now we have an object, which is our carpet. On the carpet we have fur and this is our uh, carpet for now. Now let's try rendering this area here out and see what we get without adding any materials and without changing anything in the parameters of the fur. Let's take this down a little bit like so and let's look, try rendering this. As you can see the carpet is blue and red that's because these are the uh, materials that Max randomly gave uh, my carpet once we give uh, other materials to this carpet it won't be these strange colors for now it's fine we just want to see uh, the height of the hairs and the thickness Okay, as you can see, the thickness of each hair is too high, it's, uh, the hairs are too thick, and there are not enough hairs, and they are too tall. So let's fix that. I'm going to cancel. And first thing I'm going to do in the uh, V-Ray Fur uh, Modifier panel is take the length, this panel is here in Modify, the length down to something like 7. And the gravity is fine. What the gravity does is control how much gravity is uh, pushing the hairs down. So the more gravity, the more they they bend. Three was okay for me. Now, next thing I want to see is a uh, thickness. The thickness of the hairs was too thick, so I'm going to make it half of what it was. 0.1. There were not enough hairs. Uh, the distance between hair to hair was too high especially if we take the thickness down so we're going to uh, change the distribution here what the distribution does is if I choose per face which is every uh, square we created every segment we created uh, in the plane object which is 50 on 27 is a second is a face so if we choose one per face 
What this will do when once I render is create one hair each uh, square. All right, so that's very very little hairs, and we will have a very bad result for us. So we need to take this value, this value way up. I'll just show you how it looks with one hair uh, per face. Not enough, not by a long shot. So we're gonna make it way more something like 200 if I render this out now the render time of course is uh, way higher because it needs to render 200 uh, hairs per face and we have a lot of faces here so that's a lot of a lot more rendering time than before but the result is actually exactly what we need Alright, as you can see, uh, there are many hairs on the carpet and uh, the thickness is fine and the height is fine for a fluffy carpet. This looks great. Next thing we want to do is add material to this. So let's add materials. Go to the material editor and let's create a new material, name it carpet. I'm going to change it from standard to V-Ray material. Now the color, I'm going to add a map here, a fall-off map. What this does is, you see there's there are two colors here, black and white. Uh, the fall-off type is uh, perpendicular, parallel. So, if we apply this to a material you will have two colors on the material depending on the position so like in real life the carpet is not whole white because uh, the dirt uh, goes inside the carpet and uh, creates darker uh, areas in the hairs of the carpet in the lower parts of the carpet and brighter in the higher parts so we'll have two colors essentially uh, this is what this map does the follow-up map we have one color and two colors that blend together seamlessly. Alright, now I'm going to change the black color to something more beige. 255 over 180 over 80. And let's take the saturation value down. And make it a little bit darker, something like this. Maybe brighter, because I want the carpet to be bright. So now, as you can see, there is white areas and there are beige areas. I'm going to apply this material to both the plane and the V-Ray hair, V-Ray fur, I'm sorry. Both of them are materials, are uh, objects. So if you apply only to the plane, the V-Ray fur will still be uh, this uh, purple color. So you need to apply to both of them this material. Now. I applied the material to the carpet. Let's try rendering. You don't need to add any reflection or refraction or uh, anything to the carpet because uh, the carpet is not reflective or refractive. So that should save some rendering time and headaches. Alright, so now we have a beige carpet and this is fine. I want to make the contrast of the darker areas and the brighter areas more visible here. So what I'm going to do is add a V-Ray Dirt modifier, not modifier, V-Ray Dirt material to the carpet. Now what V-Ray Dirt material does is something like this. If you look, take a look at the picture you see at the sides 
where uh, two uh, faces meet, this face and this face, we have uh, blacker areas. This, call, this is called occlusion. So what happens in real life in rooms, for instance, is at the connection of the floor and the wall, you have dirt that collects in the corners because when you clean your house, it is very difficult to get to exactly this point of connection. So you have, if the floor was white and the walls were white, you would see something like a black connection in the center, maybe black, maybe a different color. What this does is, for our carpet, is create an occlusion, create a, a, a saturation, maybe no, not saturation, it creates a, a more contrast a, between the hairs so the connections will be visible, you will see the hairs better. Now, in order to apply this Vire Dirt modifier to our material, we are going to change the Vire material, not change but add, to a blend material. I'm going to keep old material as sub-material and as you can see you have a base material which is this one the carpet and you have a coat material which is every material you want to put in these slots now the amount of blending between the two here now if I put uh, I don't know this material the brushed aluminium we used on the doors here as the coat you will see that the material becomes half this and half this and that's because the blend amount is exactly at the center if I go all the way up to black uh, as you can see the black represents zero amount of blending which means we will see only the carpet materials and not the material that is in this slot because it's on black same thing if you put it all the way on white you will see only this material because the blend value is 100 percent so you will, uh, you will have only this material visible and this material will be essentially gone so we don't need to put the brushed aluminium of course here what we need to do is put another carpet material in this slot not on instance because I'm going to change the carpet material that is here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to change this to carpet occluded and just make this material the occluded material darker So the places that are occluded, that are uh, at the background, will be darker than the places in the foreground. Alright, this, and I'm going to make this darker also. Alright, so, so now we have a uh, carpet material, and we have another carpet material which is darker than the first one. Uh, now, how do I tell 3D Studio Max to only uh, use this material in places that are occluded, in places that are hidden at the back of the hairs? What I do is add a Vire Dirt modifier here, the Vire Dirt material. I'm going uh, as the blend amount. I'm going to use, uh, click on the non, and I'm going to go to the Vire materials and choose Vire Dirt. Now what this does is place a black value. Uh, when uh, on occluded uh, occluded areas in our carpet and a white value on unoccluded uh, faces on our carpet so when we uh, 3d studio max sees an occluded uh, occluded place in the carpet like uh, the connection between the walls that I showed you in the image it will use the black color here which means we will only see this material and not this one because this will be black. Once 3D Studio Max sees unoccluded areas in the carpet, it will use whole white here, which will mean it will use only this material. This is a little difficult to understand, but once you start using this, you will understand it better. Uh, this is exactly the opposite of what we need because this material is our occluded material so we want when a 3D Studio Max sees occluded color we need it to use this material for a 3D Studio Max to do that we need to change the white to black and the black to white just the opposite I'm going to copy this here and paste black here 
All right, so now we have a carpet with V-Ray Dirt modifier on it. Let's try rendering now. As you can see, the hairs are much more visible than before. They are not blended into the same color, they look occluded, they look uh, contrasted. This is exactly what we need. For a demonstration, I will render out a portion of this image, of this carpet, without the Vray Dirt modifier. So, let's only use the carpet material without the V-Ray Blend material. I'm going to do instance here and I'm going to choose this material and apply it to the V-Ray Fur and the plane. So now this material which uh, is uh, with the V-Ray Dirt is not used anymore. We only use the base material, the carpet. Let's try to render this area here without the very dirt and see the difference let's take a look you see it is much much less uh, contrasted because you don't have the darker areas in the occluded areas of the carpet so this result is much better in my eyes so I'm going to use the very dirt material don't worry about it if you didn't under fully understand what this does just replicate it and read some materials about very dirt uh, on the internet you will you will get it it's not that difficult uh, all right, let's name this material carpet V-Ray Dirt and apply this to the carpet. And now the carpet is with V-Ray Dirt uh, applied to it. Now let's render the whole image and see how the room looks with our carpet. You know what, let's make the carpet a little bit brighter. The, car the basic carpet material a little bit brighter here so this is on full white and let's take this down almost to full white something like this and the occluded part we will make just a little less a little less dark like this and here all right now let's try rendering the room <laughs> 